Well, good evening and uh, welcome back to the kitchen. Uh, we are here today because we're going to make some stuffed peppers. And it was funny because my wife and I were discussing what, we, what am I going to make. She always has lots of suggestions. And uh, I've been talking about stuffed peppers and she sort of gave them the veto. And uh, well, uh, then I decided I'd put up a poll. So I did a little Facebook poll. Uh, I, was gonna think, I was thinking about a salt and boca or stuffed peppers. Stuffed peppers won the poll. So we're going to do Italian-style stuffed peppers today. And gosh, I hope you guys have had a great week so far. Uh, disappointing news that we're back in the purple here in Riverside County. And for those of you not in California, that means uh, we are uh, extremely shut down now. Restaurants are back to only outdoor service. So once again, we're probably doing a little more cooking. Um, I think tonight you can still eat indoors, but uh, after midnight or, or noon tomorrow, I think that's the end of that. Um, and so uh, I decided to do these stuffed peppers. This is going to be a little bit different than your traditional stuffed peppers. Hello, Peter Ayacheta, uh, my cousin, and Gidra. Good to see you. Hi, Pam. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, some stuffed peppers. It's a little bit different, fairly traditional as it starts out, but you'll see that we're going to do a couple of little different things. Um, by the way, pour yourself a cocktail. I got a little gin going on. This is Bombay. And I found a really good tonic that still uses quinine, which is really nice. All right, so we've got our ground beef. I'm using very lean ground beef. Uh, I've already sauteed some onion. You may or may not do that with your stuffed peppers. I'm going to lower this so you guys can see what I'm doing over here. Uh, and I'll bring the camera closer. So I've sauteed uh, up my onion. So we're going to start with some sauteed onion and a little, and a little olive oil. Hello, Richie Fano. And I've already got... Uh, it's a little more than a cup of cooked rice. So what we're going to do is hold that, hold on to that. And we've got a couple of cans of tomatoes. Those are coming to come in very, very handy. F1, I'm going to tell you, uh, my yard was scalped and my neighbor's yard was scalped, so I've been really suffering with allergies. So you'll pardon me if I struggle with that. Hopefully we won't. All right, so I've got very lean ground beef. This is 93.7. So, and I like it that way because then I don't have to skim it. Uh, if you use 80-20 or 85-15, uh, then you're going to probably have to take the beef out and, and drain off some of the fat. But this way, you don't have to. So we're going to put that in there uh, with our onions. And we're going to brown this up. Now, since we're going to bake these and the oven is heated to 350, you don't have to brown the beef all the way. You don't have to have it like completely cooked because remember, you're going to bake it off for a little bit and that'll finish up the cooking process. But I'm putting this right in with my uh, sauteed onions. So we're gonna brown the beef with the onions. I'm gonna add in my seasoning and you can tell it's not a lot of seasoning, a little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic powder and some Italian herbs. So let's bring the camera over here so you guys can get a better view of what we're doing. One day, I'm going to have a cameraman who's going to do all this for me, and that's going to be really, really great. Okay, there we go. So, <clears throat> we are browning our beef. I'm putting in the Italian seasoning. I'm going to turn that heat down just a little bit. And again, I just used about a tablespoon of olive oil uh, and sauteed my onions until they were soft. And I started that process before we uh, went live here on Facebook. I've got a little garlic powder. Uh, you could... If you really wanted to, you could chop up some garlic cloves and put those right in there. So I'm just going to do a little dusting of garlic powder. Not a lot. Maybe a little more like that. Okay, and of course, salt and pepper. Uh, I cooked the rice with a little bit of salt in the water, so the rice may already have some salt in it, so we'll, we'll go sparingly. You can always add salt. You can't take it out. And of course, I love a lot of black pepper. So let's see. Hello, Marty. Good to see you. Um, yeah, this recipe, one of my friends once called it pepper stuffed with bolognese and rice. So it is a little bit like that um, because one of the things I don't like about stuffed peppers is often that beef rice filling. And by the way, very versatile recipe. You can use ground beef, which I'm using, or you can use uh, a mixture of beef and pork. 
My grandmother always did that, uh, sort of like her meatballs, beef, pork, veal. You can use impossible meat if you want to make it uh, vegetarian. You can do that. Uh, I use real mozzarella cheese, so it's hard to make it vegan, but you can make it vegetarian. Uh, my buddy Nick mentioned that to me today, uh, was, or Jerry, it was Jerry, I think, who said that. And that's a great idea. If you want to, and of course, you can use ground turkey for this. It, uh, it, it's very versatile. You can do whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you feel like doing, what, what your family likes. Um, I am traditional, but I like to give you alternatives. And, you know, recipes are made to be toyed with and tinkered with. Uh, I seldom follow a recipe. The first time I make a, a brand new recipe, I'll try to follow it exactly. But it's fun to improvise a little bit and change it up. So, you know, and I offer these recipes. These are mostly family recipes. And everybody has a little bit of a different take on them. And I, I love to see what people... People have been making some of the previous recipes. And I am not as diligent as I should be at posting them. I do have a YouTube channel. Uh, I just made it uh, to, to kind of hold the recipes in one spot if you want to go to that it's patrick evans cooking and yeah you do have to subscribe but it's, you don't have to pay anything it's free and all of the previous recipes and videos are there and i make sure that uh, the recipes are posted all right so i've got my spices my ground beef it's browning up and i want you to look at this uh, because you will notice because i'm using such nice lean ground beef there is not a lot of fat to be removed and so that makes it a little bit nicer when you don't have to drain off uh, your meat filling and then we're going to add in the rice in just a moment now I'm going to tell you a little trick because one of the things you know obviously when you stuff the peppers you're stuffing most of the time most people I know uh, have done this brown the beef and then they've added their rice which is cooked and what takes a while for the peppers is to soften up what I've done with these beautiful bell peppers, I want you to get a look at these. They are gorgeous. And I got them at Gelson's. Uh, there you go. It was funny. I was looking for green peppers. And the, in the produce department today, the green peppers looked a little weary. But the gentleman, and I wish I had caught his name, but one of the produce guys at Gelson's and Rancher Mirage said, hey, let me go in the back and uh, find you some nicer ones. And so he did, and these are beautiful. But what I did is I already obviously cored them out, taken out the seeds, taken out all the stuff. Then I coated them in a little olive oil and put them in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. So they're already softened up a little bit. I didn't want to make them mushy, but now your cooking time for the finished product is shortened, which is kind of nice. So we're going to continue with the ground beef here. I know it's fascinating to watch somebody saute ground beef. I don't know. Does the light help? Can you see better? I think it washes it out. All right. So we've got the ground beef. It is browned up nicely. I was really surprised that people chose this stuffed pepper recipe over the um, salt and boca that I was going to do. But we'll also do that sometime down the road. Nice thing about salt and boca is you can do it with chicken or veal. Uh, and, you know, most of the time when I make a recipe or a family recipe, I use our traditional ingredients, but you can always uh, substitute the meat of your preference. Almost always it works. And like I said, with this, you can certainly do it with ground turkey. Uh, I've seen it done with ground chicken. I don't like ground chicken. It's not my favorite thing. Um, you can do it with Italian sausage, which is, a, you can use Fulvio's Italian sausage. I would highly recommend that. That would be delicious. I should have done that. All right. So I've got my ground beef, it's browned up, my spices are in there. Now I'm going to add in our cooked rice, about a cup. I'm going to have too much stuffing and not enough peppers, but that's okay. All right. There we go. We've got our rice and waiting in the wings, my mozzarella cheese and these lovely San Marzano tomatoes. These are crushed tomatoes in a little sauce. We're going to be using those momentarily. All right. Now, we're just going to get this nice and mixed. And you can use more or less rice. I've seen peppers done with, with no rice. I've seen them done with orzo, uh, you know, the rice-like pasta. I've seen them done with risotto and uh, meat stuffing. Uh, very versatile dish. 
But also, you know, now that the temperatures have finally cooled off, we were actually below 100 yesterday and today. It was great. Uh, this is kind of fall food, comfort food, traditional food. All right, so there, most people would use that for your stuffing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one of these cans of San Marzano's. One of the things I don't like is when my stuffed peppers, the filling, the stuffing, gets too dry. So I'm going to put in, not probably not the whole can, but I'm going to put in a little of my tomato, like that. Now I'm going to save the rest of it because we're going to use that around the outside of the pepper to make the sauce. So we're just going to add in a little tomato. It'll give it some nice color. It'll make it a little juicier inside the pepper uh, because Again, we've already browned our beef, then we're going to throw this stuff in the oven and bake it for a while. And it does have a tendency to dry out, and so you don't want to do that. And the peppers are, these are really nice thick-walled peppers. Uh, they're really, really nice. And they will give up some moisture inside and outside. They'll give up some moisture into the filling, which is nice, and it helps to keep them a little moist. So there we go. That is how I like to do it. And like I said, I sauteed some onion in there too. Uh, I always kind of browse other recipes before I do one of these because sometimes I think, what if we've just been doing it wrong all these years? Uh, you know, family recipes are just that. They're family recipes. Uh, and I didn't see a lot of stuffed peppers that did the uh, sauteed onion in the filling, but I like it. I think it adds a lot more flavor to it. So I'm just going to let that cook off a little bit and you see it's not too liquidy that's why I use the crushed tomatoes don't use puree it'll make it a little too liquidy so we're pretty much ready to stuff those they look great uh, and one of the things like I said that that this does is it prevents the peppers from getting too dry hey Randy nice to see you Leslie uh, so we're going to just let that cook a little bit. Then I'm going to stuff the peppers. Remember, I, I pre-roasted these by 10, 12 minutes uh, tops. They're, so they're softened, but they're not too mushy. They're really, really nice peppers. So um, what you want to do, and when you roast them, it, I, I roast them with a little olive oil, so there's, there's a little residual olive oil. Just drain that off outside of the pepper. But if you do decide to roast it ahead of time, you will save time in terms of the overall cooking once you've finished stuffing them. All right, let me get an implement. First thing I like to do, all right, I gotta lower you back down here so you can see what's going on. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna stuff our peppers. First thing I like to do, I take a little of the mozzarella cheese. I like the finely shredded. I'm gonna put that right in the bottom of each of the peppers. My wife always, she says, how come all of your recipes involve meat and cheese? And uh, I say, well, because that's delicious. Meat and cheese, it just works. She was like, the salt and boca, that's just, you know, meat with more cheese. I said, yes, it is. Uh, you know, we, we Italians, we like to do that. Uh, you know, for those of you who don't know, my family's Italian. My uh, family name is Ayacetta. I use Evans, obviously, on television. I have for years. It's my mother's maiden name. And uh, all right, so I've got some cheese in the bottom. Not a lot, just a little. And so now we're going to take our beef, rice, onion, tomato. We've got garlic, salt, pepper. And I know that's going to need just a little more black pepper. I know, it, I know it's going to need that, and I'll bet it needs a little more salt. I'm going to try it before we stuff them just to make sure. Hold on. <clears throat> I don't want to soil the spoon that I'm cooking with and gross everybody out. All right. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe a hint. Not much. That's pretty good. So, you know, I have a tendency to oversalt not under salt. I don't know if you guys do the same thing. All right. Where's my, all right. So now I've put, uh, I pre-roasted the peppers a little bit. And now I've got a little cheese in the bottom. 
fill these babies up right about to the top like that. You don't want to pack it down because then it gets all too firmly packed and becomes like a, a pancake in there. You don't want that. Uh, all right, pepper number one. Aren't these, I mean, these are just so beautiful, these peppers uh, that I got at Gelson's. Of course, our local farmer's market is sporting. We grow some great peppers right here in the Coachella Valley. And uh, I think we're finally getting into the season where uh, you're going to find more of that great local produce. All right. So you can see I'm going to have some stuffing left over. We could have done six peppers. I don't know who would eat six peppers. My wife is on the way home. She'll be here in time for the exciting debate tonight. We're going to tune into that at least as long as I can watch it. <laughs> All right. But we won't get into politics because I don't want to ruin anybody's appetite. All right. The last of our four peppers. And again, don't pack it down in there. Uh, just kind of, yeah, even now, I want to make sure the pepper's all the way filled. All right, very good. Now, I've got my oven heated to 350. And what I'm going to do, again, these peppers have already been pretty nicely baked. But what I like to do for the sauce on the outside, I'm going to just set these over here. I've already got one of these cans open. I'm going to put that right in there. I love these San Marzano. These chopped tomatoes are just so versatile and so easy to use and so great and so delicious. I want to get every good little drop out of those cans. All right, so just for the sauce that I'm going to pour around I'm going to do the same thing, basically the same ingredients. I got my tomatoes. I'm going to put a little of the garlic powder in there, just like that. I'm going to use this, which is a great little uh, grater, a grinder of Italian seasoning. I can show this to you. Uh, can you see that? I know it's backwards, but uh, you can get these in the spice section. And, you know, herbs are a little fresher when you gr grind them up like this. So we're going to do that. It doesn't have to be super well seasoned because it's going to be sitting there in the peppers and it's going to stew nicely. So I'm going to put some salt in that. The tomatoes always need a little salt and a little pepper. Just like that. And this is, and you know, I haven't cooked this. The only way that this is going to cook is in the baking dish with the peppers. All right, and that'll be plenty. Of, that's all the cooking it's going to need. You don't need to simmer this down. It's going to be a nice, fresh, really vibrant tomato sauce. All right. I don't have my... Normally, I would use a smaller pan. I'm missing my smaller pan. So, unfortunately, this is not going to come up to the level I want on my... I don't think I have a... Maybe I do. Hold on. Maybe I have something better. Let's look. Uh, nope, that's not going to work. All right. Is okay. Oh, wait a minute. It's called improvising. All right, there we go. I'm going to use that pan, the square pan. So, I'm going to put my tomato sauce in there. You can see... It's, it covers the bottom, and then I'm going to put my peppers right in the sauce, and they'll stand up in there, just like that. All right, this is just about ready to go into the oven. I am going to take just a little spoonful and put it right on top, like that. Not a lot. That pepper is underfilled. So there we go. Just a little bit like that. And now I'm going to pop these back in the oven at 350. It's set for 350 already. So we're going to put it back in and let those come up to temperature. And then before uh, about 
eh, 10 minutes before I serve them. I'm going to cook these for about 15 minutes. 10 minutes before I serve them, I'm going to pull them out and put some cheese on. Uh, but I'm going to pop them in right now. We'll, we'll put a little cheese on one just to see the finished product. Watch out, Mr. Guinness. I am, again, cooking barefoot. I know that my friend Mike in Roanoke might notice that and say something. Ah, there we are. All right. So, oven-proof pan. They're ready to go. And we'll set our timer for 15 minutes. I'll uh, have a little more of my beverage with you. So, really simple, easy recipe. Really flavorful. And like I said, this time of year, a lot of people are getting, uh, hey, Cardinal, happy birthday to Cardinal. Um, you're supposed to be out celebrating. And uh, it's a it, very versatile recipe. You can do, you know, any filling you want. And I, I, I'm going to show you, they're in the oven. They look really good. So there they are, cooking away in there. So we'll let that come up to temperature for a little bit. And... So you saw the, it takes, takes not very much time. You gotta saute the onion, brown the beef. You, I cooked the rice earlier. You know, it doesn't take very much. Uh, is my sound off? Can you hear me? Nan says my sound is off. I didn't think it would be. I can fix that though. All right. Sometimes that extension cord doesn't work very well. Okay, so I hope you heard most of that. Uh, anyway, what we, what we put together very quickly, and again, pre-roast your peppers just a little bit, uh, like 10, 12 minutes. It'll soften them up, and then that way, once you put them in, you're not over-baking the filling, which then makes it a little more moist, less dry, and it is, uh, it's a little better that way. So... That is a really nice, easy way. It's a great hearty meal. This time of year, we're going to be getting some wonderful peppers and uh, locally grown stuff. Uh, a lot of the other country is doing that. Uh, was that most? Uh, no, it was not. Uh, I'm, I'm tethered now, Ed, but hold on. Ed asked what kind of garlic. I didn't use garlic salt. I just used garlic powder. This, this is just... Um, California style McCormick garlic powder. It's got a little, don't tell my wife, but it's got a little parsley in it. And it's, it's coarser. This is uh, not the really finely ground. It's a little coarser. So I like that it's, it's good for a lot of different dishes. So you're gonna let those bake, like I said, for about another 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna pull them out. I'm going to uh, cover them with mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna pop them back in until that cheese is nice and melty and bubbly. The salt grinder, Ed, is actually, again, I'm tethered, hold on. I'm using, um, this is just uh, Himalayan sea salt. So it, it's the pink stuff, I like it. Uh, I don't think it's appreciably different in flavor. And uh, just uh, the good old great peppercorns that you get. So, you know, freshly, ground pepper salt always nicer in the dish so we're baking that off we're gonna pop uh, some cheese on top of that and uh, in fact let me do that while we're while we're here so we can see at least what it looks like there we are oh that looks good I'm grab my mozzarella fresh grated mozzarella like that i like the finely grated stuff it melts a little faster i'm just going to do one of these because it'll overcook, but that's all right. Right on top, like that. Beautiful, I'll let you see what I'm doing in there. So I would wait a little longer to do that, but that's gonna be nice and melty in just a little bit. Back in. I've opened up the oven so much it's going to take forever to finish cooking them. So anyway, very easy uh, recipe and a little bit different. A lot of people don't add very much, if any, tomato into the filling. I like to do that. It's going to come out um, juicier and not as dry and a little more Italian. So it's like stuffing uh, peppers with a little bolognese, right, uh, with a little rice in there. So it's, it's a nice way to make a, a pretty 
easy family meal. Doesn't take a lot of time and it's delicious. And the nice thing is it's one dish. You got your vegetable and your meat and your starch all in one dish. So there you go, guys. Uh, that is the recipe, our stuffed peppers. I will be posting it to my uh, YouTube page. It will be living here on Facebook too. And uh, hopefully the audio wasn't too bad throughout most of the recipe. But thanks for checking in. I hope that you guys are having a great rest of the week. Uh, the temperatures are fantastic. It was so nice. I came home last night and we were sitting out on the, on the back patio by the pool. It's so nice to uh, have these cooler temperatures in the evening and the mornings. So uh, we're hitting the sweet spot in the season here finally. Thanks for tuning in and checking in what we're cooking here in the kitchen. I'm not exactly sure what we're planning on doing next week, but it'll be another delicious family recipe. I always appreciate you guys. And if you know somebody who likes these recipes, please feel free to share the video. I always try to make these uh, public and postable so you can spread them around. If you have cooking groups that you're part of, feel free to share. Uh, and uh, if you have uh, any recipe ideas, shoot them my way. I'd love to, love to see that. Anyway, thanks guys. Uh, the, the peppers, I'm gonna let that cheese melt. And then when Andrea gets home, we're going we're gonna to sit down and eat. All right, guys. Have a great evening. Have a great west, rest of your week. Cheers. Stay safe. Everybody be careful out there. And keep cooking up good stuff in the kitchen. All right. Take care.